Welcome to Testimony, a musician story. Heard at TestimonyStories.com and narrated by myself, Brown Theory, the music lover constantly seeking positive music. Let's get started. Should have listened to the prophet, but your little homie told you you should try it for you. Knock it and you did it, you got with it, and it felt so microscopic. That's until you tried to quit it and you found you couldn't stop it. Slave now, addicted to the rush. It's what you crave now, can I get enough? You're a Christian on a mission and a battle here is tough. And the matter that you grapple with is battling with lust, I know. This is part two of The Truth's Testimony, A Musician Story. In part one, Truth spoke candidly about his personal life, including his upbringing as well as his public reconciliation process with God and his wife. But we pressing just to meet them all. Supernatural powers running through us because we need to spark. But we can't determine if we Spider Man or Peter Parker. <laughs> and I'm confused now which one is it? Losers, are we winners? Are we saints or are we sinners? And I'm trying to figure out if we victims or we victors. But I guess it all depends on what you're cooking up for dinner. I'm gone. This part will focus solely on his musical career, starting with, why the heck does it seem like he is constantly, strategically switching up his style? Let me tell you something about me. <laughs> I am not strategic as <laughs> an artist. <laughs> I'm telling you that now. <laughs> People always say stuff like, oh, he's doing that because of this. Or like, oh, he did this record because that that's going to appeal to this audience. I literally do whatever I want to do. Like, so it's all about what mood I'm in. Like, I'm an artist. I think about music in terms of the way it makes me feel. And that's why every album sounds so different. That's why every song feels so different. That's why I can go from a song like D.O.S. to a song like Big Picture with the Luge Band and do that, sing the whole record. How long will you be divided between his wheel and the world's? You know, I'm going to sing the whole record. Why? Not because I'm trying to reach anybody. Because that's what I feel like doing. <laughs> so that's how it works for me. Don't give me more credit. Oh. Think about my relatives, my uncles and my aunts the same, my nephews and my cousins too, reflecting on how I was raised. We did so many things together since we was kids, a lot has changed. I guess we took a different path, I focused on my college grades. After that I hit the road with microphones and line of rings, and now the only time we speak is funerals and holidays. I used to be content with that, but now my heart is not the same, cause every time I see my folks, I think about the locks and chains, the emptiness I See the hoes, they drink and smoke to block the pain. If I'ma break the secret code, they need me close so I can pray and demonstrate the love of Christ. It's time to give my life away. I gave it to the public, right? Now I'm climbing out my private space. Cause man, they need me just as much. It's such and such, such a rush to grace the stage. They grab the mic, they touch us up. They make a face, the sacrifice I need to make. So long farewell, I'll be to say goodbye to all my comfort and hello to all that need is grace. <laughs> Where am I? Okay, so Truth asked us not to give him too much credit as an artist, but there has to be some sort of strategy behind his new record label, Mixed Bag. <laughs> There's definitely a strategy behind Mixed Bag, but let me tell you what birthed the strategy for Mixed Bag, the non-strategy for everything else I do. I just literally came to a place where I owned this, the diversity that's in me. I just recently, you know, over the past two years, fully embraced, okay, I'm not one of anything. You know, that was a very hard place for me to come to, though. Because when I look at everybody else that's in my genre, that's successful, they have a thing. They do. 
You know, Reach has a thing that they do. Let Old has a thing. And then I did inventory on myself and I said, I have no thing. <laughs> it's like, I don't have a thing. <laughs> I can laugh about it now, but I actually went through like a straight crisis, like a straight identity crisis. Like, who am I as an artist? And I came to the realization that the fact that I could do any one thing is actually my brand. And once I fully embraced that, I started looking around and realizing, hold up, I'm not the only one out here that is a mutt <laughs> musically. <laughs> and it's not just musically. It's really across the board, even doctrinally. It, it, as much schooling as I got under my belt, you know, I span, I span the spectrum. I go across the whole spectrum. I wanted to start up a company that catered to the artists who have no rhyme or reason. But <laughs> once they put their records together and once they hit that stage, what they create is beautiful. His latest album, Heartbeat, debuted number two on iTunes hip hop rap album charts. Truth says it is one of his most intimate albums to date. Your strength is gone, your all is lost. You flipped the coin, but never knew what it was gonna cost. Party hard, spring break, muddy crawl, never foresaw all the scars, awkward thoughts, back of your mind, saw the cross. Some of y'all wanna come back home, but you never wanna see the saints. Cause you know that God is gracious, but some of his people ain't. Man, it gets so complicated. You just wanna receive his grace. Humble yourself, pray, only seek his face, and you can come home. This whole album, honestly, which is why it's called Heartbeat, it's very intimate. It's very, I would have to say, next to Open Book, this is my most intimate record. Um, it is the most, just my heart pouring out from compare to Heartbeat to Come Home, <laughs> you know, um, to Welcome Home, you know. Um, when you get my album, I want you to just sit in your living room and just, you know, turn the lights out, you know, <laughs> and, you know, just sit back and have a conversation with me. That's how I feel it. <laughs> you know, you know, let's have a conversation. You know, that's kind of where it, my heart is in this record. Don't nobody care what the scripture's saying. People so opinionated and they think they liberated. They say let that freedom ring. I'm afraid they've been mistaken. They say truth is what you make it. They say truth is what you make it. We say that's a flat lie. Let God weigh in on the conversation. What you say? What you say? That's a mindset from a different day. All of that so 10 years ago. And they just want to keep that picture great. So sorry to disappoint you. But God, I still got something to say. From love and hip-hop to the Instagram pics that I post to post when I'm in the great field. Black and white, black and white in this gray world of feel. Truth's first black music video from the album was for the song Gray. gray the visual imagery was black just as powerful as the song's lyrics. The imagery that popped into my head when I thought of the concept was really of a black and white television. When you think about a black and white television, you think antiquated, you know, you think old school, you know, you think irrelevant. I really feel like that's how the world perceives Christians or anybody who has conservative thoughts these days. Even the Bible has been deemed as outdated, Pierce Morgan. Um, so my feelings are that, you know, we're this outdated, old school, antiquated group of thinkers and people in ever increasingly gray society where a black and white no is ceasing to exist. Because from the world's vantage point, <laughs> you know, who's to say what's right or wrong? You know, mainstream society basically they don't believe in objective standards. They don't believe it's really, everything has just become increasingly more subjective. I, I, you know, I do what I feel. I do what I feel, what I think. You do what you feel, what you think, and let bygones be bygones. And then the moment that we kind of stand up with any sense of um, objectivity um, uh, in our convictions or any strength in our convictions, you know, would just make to kind of feel uncomfortable about that. What you find is mainstream society's arguments 
end up collapsing on themselves because their their cry is for tolerance that they refuse to be. So they don't play by their own rules. You move the line of the standard, you know, according to their own uh, emotional and, um, you know, psychological ideas and ideals. They're basically making it up as they go along. <laughs> so that's pretty much where that concept came from. But I kind of concluded by being objective, again, and hard-nosed and saying, truth is why I'm alive today, you know. There is an objective truth, and it is what sets us free. And it's up to us to embrace it or not. You know, even on Bully, that's what we say. Um, it's like, I never thought that you would take it this far. Take it this far. And everything you've done to try to make me move Take a look in my heart and you see my scars But I won't take this no more in a black mask take the money out the cash drawer uh, i don't care what y'all say uh can't tell me that it's natural nah the two men that are in love stand up a holy mantra money they stand in front of the pastor i'm in my zone they only want me to back up sick of walking on eggshells all this political correctness <laughs> we call it abomination y'all call it progressive uh, Man, we call it Evo, yeah, y'all try to protect it, uh, y'all don't want us to judge, y'all just want us to shrug and follow y'all's directions, y'all don't want us to judge as soon as we don't co-sign, put the door label on us, biggest with a closed mind, but ain't y'all judging us, hold up, talking out of both sides, if it's live, let live, then live, let live, you go your way, we go ours. This is us kind of talking to the main, mainstream society. Like, my problem is with the system. It's not with the center. Because they, and the system has resolved to impose the new rules. Modern family is the new family that the system wants to impose on us as the new normal. It, you know, and my problem is at the top. That's why I'm, I'm actually arguing with the top. I'm, you know, I'm not arguing with the person struggling with homosexuality. The system that said that has a problem with the word submission in the context of marriage. The system that teaches us that basically says you can get arrested for disciplining your children. The system that tells us that homosexual marriage is should be equally as acceptable as heterosexual marriage. So my argument is because I feel like when we're talking to the people, we have to be, we should posture ourselves like, you know what, guys, we're all, all of us got issues. This is why we need Jesus, <laughs> you know? You know what I'm saying? So whether it's homosexuality or if it's adultery or fornication or if it's pride and unforgiveness or bitterness or maliciousness or whatever our issues are, our vices or drunkenness or whatever, we are, this is why we all need Jesus. But when we're talking, when we're addressing the system, to me, that's when we're, that's when we need to be aggressive and assertive and raise up um, because they're not, to me, there's, we can't be nice with them. And again, they're the double standard of we can impose whatever we want on you, but the moment you try to impose what you want to on us, we then get to label you bigots and close-minded, and the list goes on and on. At least do what you said. Live, let live. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At least do what you said. We didn't say that. But if that's what you're saying, live, let live, then at least do what you say. Live, let live. But you won't do that. You won't even let us live in maintaining our convictions. So there's a double standard there, and I think we got to fight against that. This is my heart. Got a soul on fire that burns inside me, inside me. Now I got, now I got. Love and heaven running through my veins like dynamite that you can't contain. My heart beat, yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as I'm alive. 
love I wanna share in God's heart, 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 heart,
um, choruses, close to home kind of records um, that, you know, just basically is a testimonial. But it's not just mine. It's everybody's. We all got that testimony. <laughs> through it all, I know he's been there, you know, um, throughout this journey of life walking with Jesus. So. I'm riding through the hood in a tears roll. Looking at the girl with the pissed nose. Feeling sad for her. Shit clothes. She all dressed up with nowhere to go. I wonder if she knows that he cares for her. Curious to know what she fears the most. Pissed thoughts. Yeah. But things are not as they appear down here. Let's compare notes. Here it goes. Yeah. Men change, women change. God don't. Been the same. Boyfriends play mental games. Girlfriend is a mental case. I see why you like Lil Wayne. Drake so cold like the Winter Games. Uh, tell me what's he gonna do for you when you weigh down with sin and shame. God is a present help in the time that you need him when you're messing up. Uh, but instead of fessing up, spend a lot of time trying to dress it up. Yeah, trying to seek that approval. But God, though, we ain't gotta do so. It's all the same to him if it's all down. Uh, his eyes still beautiful. I'm trying to walk with him all my whole life. Yeah, been walking with you for a long time now. I know I ain't do everything right. Yeah, yeah. Everything right. True it all. I know that he's been Pumping and making noise. One thing that you can't avoid. When the party's over, it's still a void. You're so annoyed. Yeah. Now you're riding on empty. Just popped another peel. Empty. Just got another deal. Empty. But tell me how you gon' feel when your friends leave. Yeah. And you're standing with your eyes closed. Tears dropping to the floors. High hopes. And all your dreams is deflated while you're trying to find a way to get the weight up off your shoulder. Only God knows. Yeah. How to satisfy the longest soul Water in a dry place, dry bones Reassembled in the desert, God spoke And he speaks it to forever from a high throne Yeah, just praise God, don't exalt man See, I could disappoint you, God can't Search here, search there, search everywhere And you'll find that there's no one Nothing else that can come here Nothing else can yeah. compare No, no Promises is an inspirational track that reminds people to hold on to the promises of God. Oh man, I, everybody has to get this record because it's just like, it's just the stuff that you think and you feel, you know? Um, it's like promises is that keep holding on kind of record. When there's nothing tangible to hold on to in life, you can always hold on to the promises of God, <laughs> you know? Um, in Hebrews talks about how everything in the earth will be shaken. You know, there's just this, you know, the Bible talks about in Isaiah, and then um, it's recited again in uh, the epistles, uh, where it says, all flesh is as grass. The glory of man is as the flowers of the field. The grass where the flowers fade, but the word of the Lord endures forever. So it's really just dealing with this whole idea of hold on to the word of God, hold on to the promises of God. Everything else will fade. Everything else is passing. Your career, your fame, your popularity, <laughs> you know, albums, you know, all of that stuff is coming and it's going. The one thing that you can hold on to is the promise of God and the word of God. It's eternal. Get a penny for every promise broken That I would be a millionaire 
billionaire Oprah Don't think that what you feel is rare Feelings there Overrated Disappointment makes it hard to keep hoping Especially when you're knocking and the doors keep closing I notice you're waving white flags Keep focused And think of Lynn's sanity when he was on the sofa Hold up Wait a minute I can tell you're sick of waiting I can tell you're sick of holding on Anticipating It's not the time to get impatient with the time is taking Look at the character he's shaping I take it like yeah. Promises are no it ain't looking good right now But everything will be alright No, you're feeling like you wanna throw in the towel Don't give up the fight Hold on, hold on, you gotta hold on Everything will be alright Hold on, hold on, you gotta hold on Everything will be alright Thank you for listening to Testimony, a musician story This has been a Brown Theory production and an 83 Media production. To hear this episode again, as well as past episodes, visit TestimonyStories.com. That's TestimonyStories with an S dot com. Until next time, I'm Brown Theory, the music lover constantly seeking positive music. Promises.